Listen and practice. Molly Jones. Molly Jones is 25 and she's an artist. She lives in a small house by the ocean in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, near Boston. She always gets up late at 10 o'clock in the morning. She has a big breakfast, coffee, eggs, and toast, and then she goes to the beach with her dog. When she gets home, she works in her studio until 7 o'clock in the evening. She never eats lunch, but she always cooks a big dinner, and she often invites friends. After dinner, she usually listens to music or plays the piano. Sometimes she calls her brother, Luke, in New York. She goes to bed very late, at one or two o'clock in the morning. Listen and practice. Well, on weekdays, I get up at 6.45. I have breakfast at 7 o'clock, and I go to school at 7.30. I have lunch at school with my friends. That's at 12.15. It's early in our school. I leave school at 2.30 in the afternoon, and I walk home with my friends. I get home at 3.30, have soda, maybe pizza, and watch television. I go to bed at 11 o'clock on weekdays, but later on the weekend, of course. Listen and practice. Yesterday was Sunday, so I got up late, about 11.30. I had a big breakfast, orange juice, toast, eggs, and coffee. Then I went shopping, just to the supermarket, and I bought some tea, some milk, and the Sunday paper. Then I just stayed home for the rest of the day. In the afternoon, I cleaned my house, and then I did some work on my computer for a bit. 
Then in the evening, I watched a movie on TV. I went to bed early, about 10 o'clock. Listen and practice. He gets up at six o'clock and he takes a shower. He has breakfast at six forty five. He leaves home at seven fifteen and he goes to work by taxi. He has lunch, a soda and a sandwich, in his office at one o'clock. He always works late. He leaves work at eight o'clock in the evening. He sometimes buys a pizza and eats it at home. He gets home at nine fifteen. He never goes out in the evening. He works at his computer from nine thirty to eleven thirty. He always goes to bed at eleven forty five. He watches television in bed. Listen and practice. What do I like about my job? Well, I like the people I work with; they're good fun. And the holidays? Yes, I get a lot of time off. This year, I've got two weeks at Christmas, and three weeks in the summer, so I can go snowboarding in the winter, and somewhere hot in the summer. Fantastic. Listen and practice. The most important thing for me is my children. I'm a secretary, and I enjoy that. But no, I don't work full time. 
because I like spending time with them. They're only little. Hannah's four and Jamie's six, so they need me. Anyway, it's what I want to do. I don't want to work full time at the moment. Listen and practice. I work for a large department store. I sell women's clothes and shoes. It's a good job because I like the other people who work here, and the hours are good. Of course, I have to be polite to customers. Listen and practice. I don't like living here. This is a horrible area. The streets are dirty, and it's quite dangerous as well. I want to get a dog, and the town is not a good place for a dog. It's okay for a cat or a small animal, but dogs need somewhere to run about. I think. Listen and practice. How the oceans formed. Today, water covers about seventy percent of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry, and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface, but there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface.
Listen and practice. Salt water. Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our ocean salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Listen and practice. Teenagers today have a bad reputation. People say that they are lazy and messy and that they do very little to help their parents around the house. But there are some teenagers for whom this description is just not true at all. It is estimated that there are more than 1.4 million teenagers in the U.S who have to look after a member of their family, their mother or father or brother or sister. In many cases, these young helpers, or caregivers as they are called, are doing things like feeding, washing, and taking care of family members, as well as doing their schoolwork.